Hi there, my name is David Martin. I'm making this tape, um, Risk Management for Entrepreneurs. And I just wanted to start off with a story um, that had a lot of meaning to me. Um, I was doing a strategic plan for Citicorp and um, I had gotten in to see um, Peter Drucker, one of the foremost management gurus of his day. And um, I said to him, Peter, how do you predict the future? And he looked at me and he said, David, the best way to, pre to predict the future is to create it. And from that perspective, as a, you know, if I was a young entrepreneur, um, I would sort of get the sense of, you know, it's out there, but, but you really need to create it. It also reminds me of another story, um, Walt Riston, and um, Walt was former chairman of, uh, and CEO of Citicorp. He wrote a book, um, Risk is a Four-Letter Word, um, but I remember seeing him for the last time, and um, at that time I was the chief risk officer of uh, an asset management company called Alliance Bernstein. And uh, he came up to our offices and he said, hey David, how's the risk going? And I said, Walt, um, nothing wrong with risk as long as it's managed. And he smiled from ear to ear. Because I, I was, you know, a protege of his. And it, it sort of was, it's like nothing wrong with risk, but you got to manage it. So the first question you have to ask yourself is, what is risk? And I like to find risk as the absence of information. In fact, you know, when does a problem exist? I think it's always there until you understand that it's there. And with risk, it's the same kind of thing where if something, if the information is not there, you don't really get the risk. So the question is, how do you deal with it? Especially as a young entrepreneur. I think the first thing is, is that I always say, I don't mind errors of commission, but I cannot live with errors of omission. What does that mean? Um, you see some, you have, an, you have a decision to make, you think about it, you make the wrong decision. I'm okay with that. But when you're totally oblivious to the risk and don't make a decision, that's an error of omission. And to me, that's just not acceptable, okay? So I, I guess if I would quickly think of a framework, okay, I would think of a framework that relates to assessment, knowing the rules of the game, thinking about some decision making, and then, um, you know, recalibrating where you are. So if I think about assessment, I think the important point is know where you are. Very important to get a sense of where you are um, relative to risk um, and the return that you're trying to undertake. When I think of decision making, I think to myself and say the best decisions in life are made when you have alternatives. So you have to make a decision, develop alternatives, and then pick the right alternatives because that usually is the right decision, okay? Um, and then I think about um, rules of the game. Know what you're up to. Know what your tolerance levels are. Know what you can live with. Know what your runway is, okay, until you run out of cash. And then, you know, reevaluation, you know, Try to get a sense of where you're up to. I always used to use a, um, a technique that I found from the um, National Security Council on tripwires, where you know everybody gets lulled into a view of the environment. So I set up these trips. It could have been political things, it could have been economic things, but it sort of said to me, "Hey, stop! If you trip, if you hit one of these wires, trip, and it trips, you need to stop, reassess your view of the environment." I think I would like to close with just one thought. Um, maybe it's probably the best thought that I can give you. It's something that Peter Deming said. Um, he said, uh, Edward Deming, sorry. It's not necessary to change. Survival is not mandatory. As a, as a young entrepreneur, always appreciate that you need to change. You can't get lulled into um, a view or lulled into a direction. Uh, but you always need to think about it in the context of what's the big picture here, what are the risks um, I, that I'm assuming, and um, what are my best decisions going forward. I hope that's been felt helpful. Um, that's all I have for today. Thanks. Bye-bye.